my advice to parents of teenagers playing contact sports is that you know we have to be realistic about risk and um, parents have to understand that there's risk in everything that we do in playing contact sports and riding our bicycle down the street um, and um, there's a lot of health benefits in sports and um, organized sports both cardiovascular benefits um, benefits in, in learning to, to interact with teams and I think there are a lot of things that parents can do uh, to, to protect their children. I mean, I think uh, they can educate themselves. Uh, number one, they can um, get to know the coaches of the teams. They can ask questions about whether or not there's an athletic trainer you know, on the field who, who has expertise in diagnosing concussion. They can educate themselves about um, the risks, the, uh, the, the um, symptoms of concussion. And they can um, talk to their children and, and, and see the, how they feel about it. But um, the reality is, is that this is one of the first studies of its kind and the whole purpose here is to evaluate contact sports in adolescent players and ask questions about risk. Are there risks? Because if we can identify risks, then we can intervene and decrease those risks and make um, contact sports like football safe for all the children who play it.